Okay, Abdul, what are we uh, looking at here? What is it? So this is NVIDIA's open source software for deep learning. Uh -huh. It's meant as a tool to help uh, physicians and clinicians and researchers try deep learning on their images easily. So what we're looking at right now here is um, an MRI data set um, of cardiac images. And the question is, can you find where the left ventricle is and identify it? This is really important because one way of measuring our health is measuring ejection fraction, which is how much blood the heart pumps. And the way that you do that is you need to recognize the left ventricle in a, an MRI scan. So if you're looking at it now, can you find the left ventricle? No, I would only be guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, even if you found it, yeah. would you be able to program a computer to actually find it automatically? No, no, I don't have that expertise. Right? That is the power of deep learning. I'm going to ah, teach you okay. how to actually program a computer to do this in minutes. Ooh, okay, right? sounds good. And, and, and we do this with deep learning, and basically what you're looking at is cardiac images that come from a Sunnybrook data set yeah. um, that was produced. And um, NVIDIA works really hard with the community on challenges, uh, setting up challenges to encourage the community to engage with us. So this was one challenge that we worked on with Booz Allen, Hamilton, NIH, and Kaggle. Um, but, and that's where this example comes from. We're going to be working on more of that because we feel that the community needs to be engaged in deep learning. Yeah. Um, so in this example, we end up getting basically the cardiac images, but then we get physicians to annotate and tell us where ah. the actual uh, left ventricle is, so which happens to be right here. So in the tool, um, um, these are just other examples of pathology. So this is not just really limited to radiology. You could run it on any sort of images. In fact, we're running it even uh, a Children's Hospital in Los Angeles is doing this on um, vital signs from a pediatric intensive care unit in order to predict survivability of children. So this is a really versatile tool. And what you do is you just create a data set right here, which takes a couple of minutes. Um, all you have to do is a couple of clicks to uh, specify where your data is and then where the labels are. So remember those images I showed you on the right. And once you do that, the data set gets created in a format uh, that's easy for the tools to ingest. And then you're able to create a model from this data set, which is also just a few clicks. What's powerful here is with this open source tool, um, you know, it's just a couple of clicks to start training. And um, what's even more powerful is the ability for you to share your trained models with your colleagues. So we have a concept of a model store so that people can start sharing the models that they create with, with each other within an institution. But also NVIDIA is able to share some of the models that we're creating because we're actively working on healthcare and developing models that would work for cancer detection, for example. Um, and you can start your training. And what you'll end up with is Within a few hours, you actually get a model. And you can run, once you have the model, it's really easy to run inference on it. And what that means is you bring in a new image and you ask the computer to recognize it. And you can see that with literally just a few clicks, we're able to actually have a computer now gen look at the MRI and recognize that this is the left ventricle. Hmm. Pretty cool. Everybody can do it. So you should take a look and try it yourself. All right, all right. Yeah. So NVIDIA Digits, uh, you know, tying together deep learning and healthcare. Yeah, and our, our plan is to work with thought leaders in healthcare and learn from them as much as we can, empower them, but then also take that knowledge and make it available to everybody. Yeah. We would love to see physicians doing healthcare on their images that they have. In fact, uh, one story that we have is with uh, Dr. Aaron Lee out of uh, University of Washington. He's an ophthalmologist. He was sitting on about 5.4 million retinal scans, which we do because about 80% of people above 80 suffer from age-related macular degeneration, which could lead to blindness. And what he did is he just brought his data together with the tools that we've given him. And within about two weeks, he had a computer program written that would recognize the disease in those OCT scans with above 95% accuracy. So he could now take it and run it on his whole database to find patients that they could then take and treat that wouldn't go blind. I mean, this is really powerful, and our goal is to make it accessible that way. Yeah. We chose to start with cancer because it's a big disease that touches everybody, but hopefully we'll be able to cover more diseases in the future. And that's amazing. I mean, that's a, that's a guy who's not a programmer by any stretch of the imagination, right? Right. right. So, no, yeah. you don't have to be a programmer to do deep learning. Yeah. That's the yeah. point. That's very um, cool. As long as you have your data and you understand uh, you have a great use case for it, I think we, we will work with you to enable you to apply it to healthcare.